Hi, my name is Amrita Samad and I'm a newborn and child photographer by profession, a storyteller by passion and an absolute lover of life and its experience since birth. Let me begin with a question. All of you here, what is the earliest memory you had as a child? Scientifically, our earliest memories age back to when we are 2.5 years of age, approximately. And now this is important because memories are all I have because I'm the third child. And after two children before me, my parents sort of got bored of photographing kids. So there are barely any pictures of me from my childhood, but ironically, I'm standing here in front of you, having documented over 3,000 children's childhood. How did I get here? Let me give you a quick introduction. So I was raised in the south of India in a North Indian family in Chennai and I had the best of both worlds growing up. At the early age of five, I fell in love with the performing arts. So singing, dancing, acting, I consumed every opportunity growing up in school. And then came college which was a lot more independence, which meant I only pursued every opportunity further in performing arts in college. Then came these really heavy crossroads, you know, where you have to make these big decisions in life about what you want to do with it, while the options of becoming a doctor, a scientist, a lawyer were all present in front of me. My heart was lying only with the performing arts. It was at this junction in my life that I started to realize that I had a disadvantage. Because I grew up in a very conservative North Indian family who believed that the media world was not as stable, especially 20 years ago, not reliable or not safe for a young girl starting out in her career. Now, I didn't know better, so I moved on. I pursued a double master's degree in human resources. And then I went on to work in a corporate job for about seven years as a HR. Now, I kid you not, while I was studying and working as HR, there was a lot more going on. I was actually exploring the artist in me in all my free time, dabbling between different art forms in my own to pursue that one creative profession that was you know, stable and would satiate the artist in me. This only meant one thing, that I had to live this dual life. I would go to work from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and every day for the seven years, from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., you'd find me in all kinds of rehearsal spaces, dance spaces, pursuing my creative juices, just letting them flow and really trying to find the one profession that could stick. So I went through 10 different career creative options while I was working my full-time job, trying to find that one thing that could stick. Now, this was no easy feat. It started off with dance. Professional dancing about 20 years ago, was not a very strong foundation in India. And I was told things like, um, you know, when you grow up and when you have children and when you have to manage your house, you may not have that kind of time or ability to pursue dance. I realized that gender got in the way right there. Next came, I did a bit of, I did a brief stint with modeling, but that was quickly pushed off the table and I realized gender got in the way again. I had a lot of experience with theater and acting growing up, so I decided to maybe look at films. Now that wasn't an option that was even discussed, because again, you needed to have a network within the film industry, things are different back then, and the idea was shelved again, but I realized that my gender got in the way, because that was a strongly male-dominated space. So I moved on from these things and I decided to look at other options. I started to write for magazines. I decided to do some instructing courses to become a Zumba instructor, but the moment I started to monetize dance, I didn't enjoy it as much. I then went on to pursue becoming um, an image consultant. Now, 12 years ago, image consulting was a very novel concept and was too early for the market. So I dropped that idea and moved on to the next thing. I picked up a very interesting hobby along the way, white water kayaking. I fell in love with it and I pursued it as much as I could. When I realized that I want to pursue this as a career, one, it's too risky, two, you've got to pursue it outside the country because it wasn't a very well-established sport in India. So there goes another one off my hand. I then went on to wedding choreography, which I gave up very quickly because I didn't enjoy it. Now, after nine different professions, 
I finally, 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 after soul searching for a long time, stumbled into photography thanks to a dear friend. I quickly realized some very important things. Photography was a beautiful medium for creative expression, which is what I was looking for. The power of a single photographer, a photograph is unfathomable. It has massive storytelling capabilities, which meant that I could tell stories through my art. And lastly, the most exciting part was that there was and is a market for photography which was safe, which was sustainable, which was reliable, which was everything I needed. So here I was at this very interesting crossroads in my life. I was ready to quit my full-time cushy corporate job to switch into an area that's completely unknown to me but with the only driving factor which is a performing art or a creative standpoint. I took the plunge, I'm a low risk taker, so I took the plunge covering all ends, making sure that if I have to spring back to my corporate job, I could do it in case my plan failed. So one month into photographing babies and sharing my work online, I was amazed and astounded by the kind of response it got. In fact, I was quite overwhelmed with the number of inquiries that came back to me because it was a novel concept to photograph children and I was possibly the first specializing in this genre in India. It was hockey stick growth for me from then on for about six months. I had so much work to do. I had to switch my corporate mindset to an artistic mindset, learn my craft, understand the facets of business. This was a roller coaster ride and it was filled with joy. At the end of six months, something very interesting dawned upon me. Because I looked around in the industry and I saw that there were just a handful of women, maybe three or four that I knew. The rest for all men, it was a male dominated space. Now, that didn't bother me much then, but when I started to work, those six months, I constantly faced these situations in my shoots, which made me realize that, hmm, I'm being belittled too often. The most common question is, or let me put it this way, when all of us go to work, what do we want? We want to be taken seriously, we want our voices to be heard, we want to have our message sent out clearly. We want basic human respect and we want credit where it's due, right? The kind of questions that came my way during my new profession were, oh, is this a hobby? Oh, maternal instinct. So yeah, you work with children. I think it's cute. Oh, uh, wait, you work with children? How is this a real job? <laughs> I stepped back. I laughed to myself and I said, I'm going to let this go. Because nine years after starting my profession, I stand here in front of you to tell you that our brand is now present in across India and Singapore. We have two studios in India alone. We've shot in over 10 countries. We've done over 2,000 shoots. And we have a whole academy set up for women who are looking to walk the same path I did to become child photographers that offers them the flexibility to be what they want to be, to work part-time or full-time. And we strive to be on top of the child photography pyramid, working really hard to bring parents' vision to life. Now, while all of this may sound really glamorous, I will not hide from the fact that there was a lot of hard work and grunt work going into it. It was a very tricky road to navigate, especially with all the disclaimers that exist in a male-dominated workspace. At this point, something very recently that occurred that you know sort of brought the whole thing to life in a in a rather strong way. I was being interviewed along with some male peers in the industry. And one question that came to us were, you know, having come this far in the industry, what are the challenges you have? And I remember very, very distinctly that the photographer next to me, the male photographer next to me, responded saying the challenges after 10 years is about growth and scalability and retention and growing a team and a lot of business jargon. When the question was posed to me, my answer is what really brought this message alive and I realized that, hey, while I have all of those problems, I have some very basic challenges. I wasn't taken seriously. I wasn't trusted enough to be paid for the job. And I was never given credit where it's due. Those were my challenges. But moving on from there, I needed to beat this. I needed to move away from it. I needed to step away and grow into a different person because holding on to these things only weigh you down. So how did I do it? 
I decided to water all that negativity and focus on one thing only, which is my work. All my energies were concentrated at this point. Because I've learned something very, very important that I'd like to share with you all through my life, which is it, you are extremely, extremely, extremely good at what you do. You never have to justify your actions. You never have to justify your work. Because your work will speak for itself. And that is paramount to what you do. I went the extra mile of putting 200% more effort than was needed in my job to make sure I honed my craft so well that nobody could raise a finger or say anything. And I earned my respect in the field by doing that. I went the extra mile of actually learning all about child psychology so that I could build a rapport with children and work with them in an easier fashion. Parents noticed that. I learned everything there is to know about parenting and parenting styles so that I knew just as much as the parents coming to me. I went another mile here and actually helped make the experience really amazing. Made parents feel good about themselves. Made parents feel great about what they do. Parenting is not an easy job. But more than anything else, I stayed humble through this entire process. Because it's really not about proving a point to someone. This entire journey was about doing what I love. And it took me a while to get here irrespective of my gender. All I wanted was to simply coexist as a woman, as a photographer, and as an artist. Thank you.